Hey y'all, I'm Brittany and today we are unboxing the Yule Ball Box Swap hosted by Christian of McDorks and Melissa of Geeking Out with Melly Mel. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is a very, very exciting day, not only because it's Christmas, Happy Christmas to everyone out there. But today we are unboxing the Yule Ball Box Swap, once again, hosted by Christian of McDorks and Melissa of Geeking Out with Melly Mel. Thank you to you both for organizing this and getting all these other channels to participate. I am so excited to take part in another box swap hosted by y'all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This box swap is super exciting because we have so many other channels that are participating in this. So be sure to check the links down below in the description box to check out everyone's videos because I'm sure they're gonna be fabulous. Be sure to check out my box that was gifted to Melissa of Geeking Out with Melly Mel. I'm super excited to watch her video and see her reaction to everything that I got for her. So we did have some requirements of items to include in each box and they are as follows. A candle, drinkware, apparel, ornament, and a mystery item. Now you also are able to include anything else that you want, any other little goodies, candies, that kind of thing. But those items were the requirements for this box. So yeah, I am super, super excited to unbox my box because this is something I was not expected. You know, we, we get matched with other participants and you have no idea who's gonna have you. I was so blown away to receive my box because my owl flew their little wings all the way across the pond from the UK to bring me my box. And my box is here courtesy of Kaylee Christensen who is here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Kaylee. I already love it. I already like, I just know I'm going to love it. And I don't know, there's just something magical about the box coming from the UK. I mean, you think Harry Potter, naturally you think the UK, you think Wizarding World and London and all that jazz. So I think this is just amazing. So thank you, Kaylee. And thank you to the owl named Eclipse, who's four years old and likes to bite. So yes, this box traveled all the way from across the pond from the UK all the way to Texas. I'm super excited to get this unboxing underway. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Kaylee sent me for the Yule Ball box swap. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it already. Like I haven't even seen anything, but I already love it. So Kaylee did include some lovely magical stickers that Luna over here, if you can see her, she wants to see. What do you see? Is this, what is this mommy? So Kaylee also did include some fun magical stickers. Here is the Luna Lovegood inspired sticker with the Spectra Specs, the mistletoe with a banner that says, I suspect Nargles. We also have a sticker of the Tri Wizard Cup. Beautiful illustration, I love this. And we also have a snow globe sticker of Hogwarts Castle. I really, really like the sticker. We have an Azkaban prisoner sign. This is really, really cool because Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite book from the series. And Kaylee also sent a card here, but oh my God, can we talk about her handwriting? Beautiful, love it, thank you. I also don't want to open this up because this is so, so pretty, so magical. And on the back, we have a wax seal this wax seal says Hogsmeade visit approved. Ah, I love it. I also love how she went over the seal with a gold marker uh, just so that the letters can pop out more. Oh my God, Kaylee, I love this card. It's of the Yule Ball. How stunning is that? And even better, it's a card from Cauldron Crate. I love Cauldron Crate's items. I've never subscribed to the box, but I have purchased items individually from her shop and oh my gosh, so pretty. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, to Brittany, hope you have a magical Christmas. I really hope you enjoy the items I selected for you. Stay magical, Kaylee Christensen. By the way, your handwriting is stunning. Mine is just not. <laughs> but thank you, Kaylee. This is beautiful. All right, and I don't know if there's any particular order to opening these items, but we're gonna start with this 
small one that I just selected. We can have here a wrapping paper of ornaments. How cool are these items? It's so appropriate because I'm wearing like my Slytherin ugly Christmas sweater. This is really cool, Kaylee. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. The first item I'm gonna show you is this little, I don't even know what you call this. I don't know if it's meant to be like an ornament or like part of a keychain or something like that, but that's really cool. We got the Slytherin house crest here. Love it. And it's dimensional. We've got the, what looks to maybe be the Deathly Hallows on top. I could be reaching for this, but it's the same on the back. Uh, it's very cool, very pretty. Oh, I love that. And then also I have a Slytherin crest ring that is so cool it's kind of like this antique sort of gold or bronze maybe <gasps> i love it i absolutely love it does it fit though it's a little big on my middle finger but hey we're gonna make it work we're gonna keep wearing it throughout the rest of this video oh this is lovely yes Cadbury Dairy Milk Winter Wonderland. It's a chocolate bar, milk and white chocolate in a Christmas tree shaped bar. That is awesome. Very cool. I do love chocolate. All right, so this is a larger item here. It's got a little bit of weight to it and maybe it's fragile. Luna's coming over to inspect. Ooh, wait, it feels like something liquidy. Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> no way. No, you did not. Oh, oh my gosh, Kaylee. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Oh, holy moly. It, it's, oh my gosh, it's like a Yule Ball edition pumpkin juice. It's a winter edition spiced with Christmas magic. Look at that. How stunning is this bottle? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, let's take a closer look at the details. We've got like blue iced pumpkin sitting on snow. We've got silver cording, a beautiful wax stamp in blue of the Hogwarts castle with silver uh, paint on it or, or marker on it. And then we have like this charm here on the side with the snowflake and just snow all over this frosted bottle. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh man, this is from Encantrix Apothecary. I follow them on Instagram and man, do they come up with some beautiful, beautiful potions. And I do obviously collect potions as you can see behind me. <gasps> I should have recognized this from the, the get go. Wow, oh my God, I love this Kaylee. <gasps> That is beautiful. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, look, I found another sticker. It's the golden egg. Okay, so this next item is a very skinny item, so I'm not sure what this could be. Huh. But, okay, so it's a straw, so this is part of the drinkware. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we'll go with that. It's a straw. So the drinkware is in here somewhere, so let's find it. Oh no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The lid is broken. Oh, and it looks like maybe something spilled. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Well, and that's what happens when things come from overseas. But, oh, this was a really cool drinkware uh, mug, uh, what do you, whatever you call it, these these glitter things were supposed to like, you know, float everywhere, but it says, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? He said calmly. <laughs> it's one of my favorite quotes, but yeah, unfortunately it came, it came broken. Oh, it is plastic, but nonetheless, it, it, it did come broken. That's a shame. That's really sad. I really did like that, that cup and the quote itself is just wonderful, but I, yeah, really sad that that happened. So. It's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep moving along here. We've got another item here. It's rather heavy, so it might be the candle, I, I imagine. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is very pretty. Oh, how look at that. Okay, let's take a look at the jar or candle holder itself. It almost looks like, like a cauldron in a way, or like a pot, right? I love the shape of this, but the top of it says Luna's Dream fresh lavender scented candle. 
love that. I do love lavender. And the fact that this says Luna's Dream is just like mwah, icing on the cake because I love Luna, love good. I have a dog named Luna, if y'all didn't see her earlier. But this is really, really thoughtful. Thank you. Oh yeah, you really get that lavender in here. So check out what's inside. The next item here is probably the apparel. Okay, y'all get to see what's on it first. There we go. It says the Weird Sisters World Tour 1994. That is incredible. I love that. I love concert t-shirts. I love this so much. Wow, that is so, so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, it. I love the idea of incorporating like the Weird Sisters into anything Harry Potter because you know, we see them just that one time in Goblet of Fire, but so appropriate because this obviously they performed at the Yule Ball. <laughs> so this is cool. Love this. Thank you very, very much. I just keep finding stickers in here, Kaylee. This is like a treat. So we've got a Hermione illustration. Then we also have a sticker that says Dumbledore's Army or also known as the DA. And we have a Hogwarts crest. Love this. I love like the kind of antique look it, it's got. Ooh. And it's in a velvet bag here. I got a velvet bag. Okay. And, oh, it's the ornament. Oh my God, I love this. Look at that. It's the Slytherin snake with the Slytherin scarf type ribbon oh this is wonderful i love that absolutely love that it's got a good weight to it too so like this this is a this is a well <laughs> well weighted ornament very cool that is just lovely i absolutely love this ornament thank you oh and this is wonderful yes i love it kaylee also included what looks to be the kind of like souvenir book from the Harry Potter studio tour in London. I've actually been here long ago in 2013. It's been so, so long since I've been there and need to go again. We're approaching like the 10 year mark, right? So it's time to make a journey back to Hogwarts. Let's just, let's just be real. This is great. I remember seeing this book in the gift shop this is so incredibly thoughtful of you to include this. Thank you so much because you'll see like costumes and like sets and things like that. This is the official guide to the London studio tour. So this is incredibly thoughtful of you to include as like a surprise or mystery side of things. Oh, I love this. Oh, I cannot wait to go through this. Thank you, Kaylee, so, so much. All right, y'all, so that wraps up today's Yule Ball box unboxing. Thank you, Kaylee, so much for putting all of this together. I know you put a lot of thought into it and it just means so much to me that, you know, we got to connect like this and I, I just feel very honored and very grateful to have been a part of this Yule Ball box swap. Thanks again to Christian of McDorks and Melissa of Geeking Out with Melly Mel for reaching out and inviting me to take part in this. This was a blast to not only shop for my person, Mel, but to also receive. And I think it just helps bond all of us here in the Potter community that much more. And I'm just, I'm very, very grateful for everything. Thank you once again to Kaylee Christensen. She has her own YouTube channel that you need to check out along with everyone else who's participating in this Yule Ball box swap. So be sure to check out everyone's link down below and head over to Mel, of Geeking Out with Melly Mel to see what I got for her. So Kaylee, to you and to everyone else here on YouTube, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope everyone is enjoying their time with their family, their friends, and loved ones. Thank you to everyone who took the time to check out this video and be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Follow me over on Instagram at Brit's Magic Trunk. And lastly, don't forget to tell your fellow witches, wizards, and muggle friends about Brittany's Magic Trunk. I will see y'all in the next video.